Well, 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 here we are once again at Just Cook at Home. I've got the most magnificent looking woman known to man, um, Lucha, Chef Lucha even, who's also known as the Kitchen Queen, mostly because her new book is The Kitchen Queen. It is magnificent, and this is not a punt, this is, it's really stunning. So she's now cooking at home for me and you, and there you are. Hey, Lucha. Hello, Justin. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Glorious day, and the weather is absolutely stunning. Is it? Well, I can't say the same for Cape Town. It's sort of half half. <laughs> but I will tell you that if you look this good in the kitchen all the time, no wonder they call you the bloody kitchen queen. I mean, it's magnificent. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, so your book has hit the shelves, has it? Yes, it has. It's been a week now, and it's oh. going fantastic. Is it? It's I'm like having really a baby. Hey. Ooh, yeah. It's so like, busy. it's just, um, I mean, yeah, giving birth to a book is very similar to sort of having a child. It's just the pride and the delight and watching it grow. And I'm, oh, that's marvelous. So I want to actually show everybody the cover because I love the cover. Can we see it? Yeah, it is. How beautiful is that? Our kitchen queen. Our, I said to Lucia, wow, she looks amazing. She, she's trying to look like the cover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so I have gone through your book and the illustrations are magnificent. Wow, um, so the book art. Yeah, it really, really does. I mean, they, they, yeah, they make my heart very happy. Oh, I'm tell glad. About, before we talk about the book, tell me about the recipe um, or the recipe you're going to cook for us today. Okay, so this recipe is just like a, a go-to recipe. It will take about 10 minutes to actually uh, put the whole thing together. The prep is about 5 minutes. And it's a pan filter, which is very popular, especially in the country. But I've seen a new thing going on, on now with uh, filter. People are doing all sorts of things with filter, yeah. like with lasagna. And like you, what do you call it? You cook. There's this um, page that I follow, and they, they've done amazing things with it, even biryani. So, I thought, let me just share. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love pilchards. But also, you know, I mean, the thing is that I suppose you love them or hate them, but they are enormously healthy because of all the omega-3s and everything. Yeah, yeah. The lovely bones with the calcium. And I mean, and as you say, affordable too. So I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of a pilchard myself. So I was very happy about this recipe. Great. Okay, so how, well, tell me about the, the dish. How does it all work? So you just need tomatoes, onions, um, oil, salt and pepper. I always like to add eggs on top. And then you can bake it if you want. Eggs and then maybe a sprinkle of cheese. It just depends what you have in your cupboard. So I like and a stuck sucker, but with pilchards. How fabulous. Yes. Mm. So tell me, Justin, do you open your pilchard and take a bone out of me? I, just, I leave it. I leave it, I leave it in. That's one of the healthiest parts, the calcium. In all those exactly. so you must keep those indefinitely. Yeah. Uh, and they kind of cook uh, away so anyway. They, oh, yeah. they cook away anyway, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Absolutely. So I don't understand why people take them take them out. Do you like chili? I love chili. I love chili. I can even eat what I'm having with my meal, I can only just go. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> it's brave. Yeah. It's see I take it. Hmm? Yeah, you take the I pips take out. Can you see? Yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see in your pan there. Just okay. So, can you turn your, your... This is very high tech. I'm not very good at this either. Thank goodness it's you, not me. <laughs> okay, so can you oh, see? There we go. So now I've added onions, some tomatoes, tomato paste. We're and almost ready to... Was it fresh in tomato? Fresh tomatoes, or you can use cans. Okay. So if you're a busy woman like me, this is like a great go-to dish because it doesn't take uh, a lot of your time. Well, that's actually what I want to talk about, you being such a busy woman. I was reading up on you because, you know, a girl must. <laughs> I mean, it's like an actress, singer, a cookbook author, celebrity chef, uh, I don't know, like uh, all-round kitchen queen and beautiful woman. I mean, when, what do you do? What's your everyday life? Thank you so much. My everyday is <laughs> crazy. Like crazy, crazy. But I always try to plan my day. Especially now during the 
the, cook, the cookbook and um, the whole way about my cookbook. Everyone wants to talk to me. I have interview. Like sometimes I'll have a Skype and then I'll have a Zoom and then it's a call and it's a, it's a live radio <laughs> show. It's crazy, but I love it. I pray for it. It's like at night when I go to sleep, I'm like, oh, what a day. Thing. So it's wonderful. That's a, and what of all the things that you do and have done, you're acting. I think you're in Rhythm City. Is that did I get that right? Yes, yes, yes. it was. And you've yeah. done movies, and you're a singer and a jazz singer, and all sorts of things. And a, a foodie. What's your favorite? Where does your heart lie? That's a very really unfair question. It's like asking um, asking a mother. So you've got these five children. Which one is your favorite? <laughs> to answer that um you always try and, and treat your children equally but right now what, what i do with my talent is like if i get like what said, i did a netflix special last month in, in Cape Town, and i was just like loving the acting and i was like oh i missed this but i gave it all to the acting you understand what i'm saying and then if i get a chance to do a gig i'm on stage i give my all to to being on stage and, and performing and then if i to cook i put my heart into it and like right now, my, this child, the cooking and the book, it's, I'm just focusing on it. I'm I, enjoying it. I think that's a great answer. So I wouldn't feel, un, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable saying that to any of my children. <laughs> you get my love and focus when you need it. <laughs> yes. And when I feel it. Yeah. Um, mm. You could always sing and cook in a television show. <laughs> and then you would be acting. Oh, and don't give me ideas now. <laughs> <laughs> so now the book. How long did it take you to write the book? I don't want to know. Yeah, I do. What, I, know what, I want to know what you're putting in the pan first. What are you doing oh, in okay. the pan? We're almost done, yeah? Right. <laughs> I love a quick recipe. Yes, so we're actually towards the end now. I've put the pilchards in. What kind of pilchards did you use? In tomato or in chili or plain or what? No, but I love, I love hot, but... I always give people an option of putting chili and having a tomato-based one. So this one is tomato-based, and that's why I added that. Oh, it looks divine. Yeah, so we go, and then it's got the eggs on top, which is optional. Oh, no, I think eggs are a great idea. I saw at the end, we just... Oh, this camera. Oh, we'll do it later. <laughs> so, yeah. Technology, hey? Yeah, oh, I'm telling you. Yes. And there you are. So, so you were telling me how long it took to cook the book, to cook the book. I mean, to write the cook book. The book. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that you ask this question, it's because the book was in my head. It's always been there. So when I started doing cooking classes and um, hosting dinners and doing events, people were like, Lucia, you must come up, up with the book. And I was like, yeah, oh, I have the book in my head. Um, and then while I was doing this whole cooking thing with the, with the social media, and being an actress and singer and people knowing me as a personality uh, this food thing just like somehow was elevated and i was approached by an, an uh, nb publisher at that point when they when they uh, um approached me i was thinking of writing a book but i wanted to self-publish i know there was this friend of mine was like lucia don't let anyone publish your book you must self-publish and i was like oh okay and then they um uh, nb publishers had, came to job and had the meeting with me and they had a proposal and they were like Lucia please whatever you do don't self-publish no, I, 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 I had no idea at, some, at that point uh, but now um, working with them during this process I just found out so much and I was like I'm, I'm glad that I chose to be published by a reputed company like NP Publishers yeah. and because let me tell you those photographs do you think they would have come out the way they did if I used some um, photographer from Joe but now this guy knows about food photography. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So it took me 15, 15 years. Wow. Wow. Yes. And it was 15 years up here. But you're right yes. self-publishing. I mean, it's, you know, not for a cookbook and not if you want to get it out to the right places with the right look and yes. feel. I've written, I think, five cookbooks. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, the point is I've written many cookbooks over the years. And Ooh. I haven't self-published one because, I mean, it's just too difficult. You need the route to market. You need all of those things. And 
So I'm glad you didn't. And also, you know, you had a great stylist, beautiful photographer, stunning illustrations. Oh, thank you so much. You put together, and I would be super, super proud if I was you. Oh, thank you so much, Estelle. That means a lot. I love the fact that you sort of not reinvented yourself, but followed your passion. You know, you've got all these, mm -hmm. and you've. You sort of, you know, you've done, you're doing your TV and your Netflix and your movies and you sing when you want to and now you've taken your food passion and made it into a book. I think it's a beautiful legacy of life to, oh, thank you. to bring it and share it. I think uh, so more power to you, old queen of oh, the you. Hey? Our, own, our own kitchen queen. So if you want uh, your ex to cook um, even more, I love my ex like this. You cover it and then you put it on the side. Okay, so you just put it, put, put a, a lid or some foil or something over it. All right. Well, I'm not surprised now that I call you the kitchen queen. You have been an utter delight. Your dish looks wonderful. You look magnificent. And thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Get out there and buy the book. It's as beautiful as the woman herself. You just, God bless. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.